Hi guys, so if you're watching this video, this probably means that you're into or at least being curious about cloth diapering and I went down this row a few years back and I just finished potty training my child. So I, I am going to share with you guys what I did for cloth diapering and I'm basically going to break it down into like different packages just to get you started if you have no idea or you are just curious you're like how does this work what do i need how much is it and i'm just gonna cover that of course i'm only gonna kind of show you guys what i have but i mean there's i'm gonna give you other alternatives and other ideas depending on how much you're willing to spend so each package i'll start off with the most i mean the least um expensive one and then we'll work our way up to like the i like dream ideal one that if you have no actual limit or budget for cloth diapering um that's basically what i would like dream of getting like everything that i want so the first package is really if you're really wanting to do cloth diapering but you really don't have the money right now and you're really 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 tight on money so this is kind of what you can do to go like around it a bit and not spend so much money in the beginning I mean and then later on you can slowly start buying it so in case you're really in a budget like extremely in a budget these are options that you can do so instead of a wet bag you need a wet bag on the go so instead of a wet bag you could use plastic bags or um, yeah plastic bags or any like large ziplock bag or anything like that um, but then you would have to throw that away it's not reusable so that's the only downfall but that is an option um, for otherwise than the wet bag so you don't spend on it but I mean a wet bag is only $15 so just depends um, on your budget but that's an alternative to a wet bag but you need some sort of bag to store your dirty diapers when you're on the go so that's option number one you also need a pill bag and again you could just use a trash can bag and just dump them in there but again if you're trying to like be all like green and trying to save the planet and things like that i don't think you would want to be using plastic bags but again that's an option if you don't have the money to buy a pill bag you can just do those bags um but you need both you need a wet bag and you need a pill bag um next you need a uh, cloth wipes or you can use disposable wipes if you want to but cloth wipes you have the option of that you need something to wipe your baby obviously so you would either um, create your own cloth wipes or you can buy them as well for a dozen they have them on Amazon there's different kinds um, these are the ones that I bought and so they were really soft and they dried up fast because I would wash them by hand and then hang them up they were ready to reuse right away in a few hours I think or the next day they were completely dry so they're very thin and soft you could also um I did you have like a, a three options for the cloth wipes so the first one is you can either keep them dry in a little basket cute somewhere and just ready handy to use to grab and like get them wet and use them to clean your your kid or you can also um, buy any Tupperware from like the Dollar Tree 99 cent store or any store like that they usually have them any big container with the lid um, will work for you especially if you're preparing them and like kind of having them moist and wet ready to go like wipes um, so I've seen some people do that keep them in a container now moving on to the actual diapers themselves you would need at least four pairs for the new newborn if you wanted to um you could probably get away with just two but i would say four at least um the all-in ones the little joeys are specifically really good because they're really tiny and they also have in the middle a section to like pull down so it doesn't irritate their belly button with the belly um with the belly button um cord that they have the first few days Besides that, they also have, um, Thirsty's has their newborn, um, um, what's it called? Diapers and with Velcro. So for me, these are my newborn, um, diapers. Um, they still fit her really a little bit bulky in the beginning. So I did not use them right away. I should have gone with the little Joey's. I thought these were going to be, um, small enough, but they weren't. And this did irritate her in her belly button so it's nice that the little joys have the little 
and centerpiece that kind of snaps down and kind of keeps it away from that area. Um, and it's nice that it's Velcro because it kind of gives you that um, feeling of like disposable diapers. So if you're into that, um, they have them size one as well, like the older ones. Um, but I like the button ones better just because it's, I don't know, I feel like it's better adjustable for them, especially because you can't really adjust this side. But I mean, depends if you want to kind of have that sense of like disposable diapers. Next, you at least, at least need one set of um diapers diapers or diaper covers so for me personally i bought these thirsties um diaper covers and so i like them because i was able to switch out the inside a few times if she only peed if she pooped of course the whole thing has to just go because everything would get dirty um, but when she would just pee and especially if she didn't pee too much I was just able to switch the inside and still use it two or three times depends um, unless it like because if they pee a lot then the whole thing gets wet and then you just have to switch out the whole thing so moving on to the prefolds these are the Chinese prefolds and then these are the uh, also cozy prefolds that I have um, these were the tiny ones as the size one I guess and then these well, they go by pounds and then the red ones a little bit bigger as you can see I used the purple ones in the beginning and then I slowly moved on to the red ones or I would use the red ones at night and then the back one is the yellow one which is for like size two diapers and there's a bunch of them on Amazon you can just check they're 10 it depends how many they are some of them are more expensive but just because they have some more and then it also depends on the material so you can go on Amazon search there's a bunch of them there's those that I, I already showed you so you can actually splurge on this if you're trying to save money but you don't want to like go cheap on this so just look around see your options and then choose the best one for you so these are actually the red ones i showed you and they fit 14 to 30 pounds so i just kind of and then it only has six it's not a dozen and it even says right there size two so those are 16 so you get six for 16 so it's not that bad like I mentioned, this is only for extreme, like you don't have that much money. You can always skip on the wet bag, the pale bag, and then you can make your own white piece out of like old t-shirts. And then use Tupperware from the Dollar Tree as a container. And then you get to splurge on the actual diapers themselves, on the newborns all-in-one, the pre-folds, and then the covers or any other style that you like. This is all package A for $150, around there. And then you can also go the more... um a little bit more I guess expensive is buying a wipe warmer and these are nice you can fill them up as kind of the same thing as you would do in a Tupperware but um, obviously it does warm them up if you want to and you don't want them to be really cold I know some babies are very delicate and they don't like any cold like touching their little bum so that's a little bit more expensive it is $28 versus buying like a Tupperware from the Dollar Tree for like a dollar so far, we have a wet bag that is $15, um, a pale bag that's $19, um, wipes for a dozen is $11, and then a wipe warmer would be $28. So that would still keep us under budget. So you would want to invest in a sprayer, but of course you don't need one just yet in the first three months. You don't need one, especially if you're breastfeeding you really don't need one because um, you can just dump that straight into the pail and then just wash it off and then in your laundry and so you'll you'll be fine um, so you can wait to buy that later on if you're like trying to save money so for this next package you don't want to skip on the wet bag um, you need the pail bag you also need the cloth wipes um, one set of those and all of these are like one set and then you need the wipey warmers the little joeys at least four diapers so two sets of those or the thirsties and then you get your set of covers along with the pre folds this will all add up to like around 264 but eventually you will have to invest on the diaper sprayer thing which will be another $30.
now moving on to package C it's basically the same as package B except you're like doubling or buying more than one of those items so for the pedal bags you'll probably want two wet bags you'll need two one to keep at home and one on the go um, wipes you can buy two or three sets um, you will want to buy more um, inserts or the prefolds like maybe three sets of those or four depends how many um, diapers you need and then how often you want to wash so if you want to go two, maybe even three days and three days is pushing it um, without doing laundry you need more diapers and you can also invest on the pail spray that you put over the toilet to rinse your diapers and it keeps it from splashing all over the place so that is package c and it is around 625 i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you guys next time bye